Hey everyone, King King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a quick video showing you how to relock your HTC Evo 4G LTE's bootloader. Uh, the reason you're going to want to relock it is if you probably want to take it back to Sprint for any reason. Um, of course, you don't want to send it back to HTC since you've unlocked it via HTC Dev, so um, you can't send it back to them. Your warranty's void with HTC, but it should be okay with Sprint. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So, of course, my... Um, Evil LTE is bootloader is unlocked. I'm going to recommend going into settings, developer options, and making sure USB debugging is checked up at the top. Just kind of make sure it is checked. Um, what we're going to need to do is actually go into the bootloader. So we're going to need to power off our device. Um, before uh, we do anything else, you're also going to need to set up the Android SDK tools. I do have a video showing you how to do so, and I've got nothing but good feedback from that video. So it's, it's actually quite easy to do. Um, so it, it's very simple. So let's go ahead and watch that if you have not set up the Android SDK tools on your PC. I will link to it in the description of the video, so be sure to check that video out. Uh, once done setting it up, actually what, what we can do is actually go into the bootloader on our device. So go ahead and press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Keep it held down until these lights stop flashing. So you'll see the bottom uh, capacitive button lights are flashing. So keep holding it down until they're done flashing. And then you can let go and then press it again, press and hold both of the buttons again and it should take us into the bootloader. That is the method that I have used and it has successfully taken me into the bootloader. You can let go again and there we go. So it takes us into our bootloader right here. So you'll see up at the top, it does say tampered and unlocked. So it's tampered because it's rooted, unlocked because it's unlocked of course. So when we're done here, it should say tampered and relocked. It'll still say tampered because we're still rooted after we relock the bootloader. So so um, if you do want to get back to complete stock and it'll just say relocked and not tampered, which I recommend doing if you're taking it back to Sprint, is go ahead and follow my how to unroot video when we're done with this. So you're going to want to relock it first and then follow my unroot video. So that would be the steps to do so. So you'll see it's highlighted on fast boot. Press the, the power button to select that and we are in fast boot. So now once it says fast boot, go ahead and plug our phone into our PC. So go ahead and plug it on in while it's in fast boot, of course. And now we can actually go to our PC. All right, so I'm at my PC, of course. I am on my C drive, as uh, many of you guys would know, have an Android SDK folder right here. Double click on that, and you'll see a platform tools folder right here. Double click on that, and then what you're gonna wanna do is hold the shift key on your keyboard, and then right click, and you will see uh, open command window here pop up. So press that and you will see that uh, your command window is pointed to the Android SDK platform tools folder. So of course, phone plugged in, all you have to do is type fastboot OEM lock. That's it. So fastboot OEM lock and hit enter. What it's going to do is go ahead and lock your phone. It says lock successful. From what I hear that from what I hear it shouldn't do a factory reset at all, relocking your bootloader. Um, I will find out now, so of course we will see. Looks like it's gonna reboot my phone. Um, it said finish, total time less than a second. So rebooting my phone. Um, again, it should be fully locked now. It should say relocked up at the top of my bootloader along with tampered because I'm still rooted. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this boot up and I will be back. All right, so phone rebooted just fine. Successfully, you can unplug it now. We don't need it plugged in any longer. So load it on up. Of course, no data was wiped, so you're not gonna get a factory reset. I still have Super SU though, so I now have a relocked bootloader and I'm gonna wanna follow my how to unroot video now. So let's go ahead and go back into our bootloader because I'm gonna show you guys what your bootloader should now say. You can actually check this yourself if you'd like. Of course, same method to get into the bootloader, press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Keep them held down until those, uh, looks like I didn't let it fully power off yet and it took a screenshot. So, um, of course, I got to let it fully power down um, and then press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Still not powered off. Don't know why it's taking its time powering off. All right, there we go. So you'll see those bottom uh, back lip buttons are blinking. Keep holding it down until they're done blinking. Um, if anyone comes up with an easier way to get into uh, the bootloader and then let go and press it again, let me know. So uh, just let go, press and hold it again, keep it held down, and then you can let go again and it should take you into the bootloader, and it did. So there we have it. We are now in our bootloader. Up at the top, it should say relocked and tampered. 
and it does. So you'll see tampered right there and relocked. So our bootloader is relocked. You're stuck on relocked, of course, so HTC will know that you unlocked it. So uh, there we have it. It is tampered and relocked. So now I'm going to follow my how to unroot video, which will give me, which will factory reset my device, but it will get rid of tampered there. So it'll only say relocked. So there you have it there. That's the steps. If you um, have basically uh, unlocked your device, how to unroot, you're going to want to relock it first and then follow my how to unroot video. So there we have it. Uh, if you have any questions at all, run into any problems, feel free to let me know. If you want to get out of the screen, just uh, press the power button on fast boot and then volume down once and select reboot and press the power button to select it. So there you have it. So um, that would be it. How to relock your bootloader on your HTC Evo 4G LTE from Sprint. Let me know um, if this worked. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And thanks for watching.